So I'd had a lot to do with the foundation of, really, with uh, Brian Jones, you see. Uh, Mick used to used to come around with the Alexis Corner band, he used to sit on the stage on a chair, you know, and I used to give him a terrible hard time. I used to lean over to Jack and say, what's this fucking geezer doing here and all that, you know. And we used to play this gig at the Ealing Club and Mick used to come along there and then Brian Jones he, and he got together and um, Jack and I used to do the interview, interval, interview, interval with Brian Jones and Mick Jagger, you know. And in the end, I got a bit fed up with this, and I said in a very loud voice, why the fucking hell don't they get a rhythm section and let us have an interval, you see? And they turned up next week with a rhythm section. I think they got Bill Wyman, and they got some dreadful drummer, and Brian Jones came up to me after they, they'd done their set, you know, and said, what do you think of it? So I said, yeah, but his drummer's fucking terrible. Why don't you get Charlie Watts, you know? Who'd, who'd been with you? Alexis, um, Alexis before he'd before. left Alexis for me to join the band, you see, and they got Charlie Watts the next week, and that was it. Were, that was the Stones on their way. Yeah. Mm. And of course, they they went to Stardom very quickly after that. The first single, and then the album came out. And yeah, well, in those days, it was Brian that was doing all the heavy duty work. You know, Mick just used to stand on stage and sing and Brian would be flying about all over the place. He'd be on his knees, laying on his back in the audience, out of the audience all the time, you know. Um, and I think Mick got a lot of his things from Brian. You know, Brian sort of really got him into working on that sort of thing. He was really... He knew what he was doing, Brian. He knew exactly where he was going. <laughs>